Welcome to Scruffy Church TV. Hello. Except I don't think we can do Scruffy Church TV today because there's a massive story in it and we need loads of people and there's only me. Hang on. There's loads of you. We can do the story together. You up for that? I mean, are you up for that? Yes! Welcome to Scruffy TV with this massive story. Trouble is though, the story is a tiny bit scary. So if you're gonna be in the story with me, you need to be bold, you need to be strong, and you need to be totally amazing. So, hands up if you're bold. Hands up if you're strong. Uh, hands up if you're a soggy sausage. <laughs> hands up if you're totally amazing. Brilliant. Brilliant. You are welcome to Scruffy Church TV. I'm Philip and as you know on Scruffy Church TV we don't need that kind of thing because this is Scruffy Church and also with me is Lizzie who's on camera but she's too glam to be scruffy so she stays behind the camera <laughs> but it's great to have Lizzie with us as well and as you know on Scruffy TV we have shout outs so I've got some lovely shout outs this week first of all from Bath Edith and Arthur Hughes. Welcome to you and their mum and dad, Lily and Jamie, who are brilliant musicians. So, a wonderful scruffy welcome to you. Roz and Olivia from Derby. Hey, great to welcome you. Now, Roz and Olivia sent me the most amazing picture to scruffy at stephenschurch.org.uk. And I'm afraid I can't show the picture because we're having to do this all in one. I can't do any editing, so I can't put the picture into the programme. But if you go to stephensbath.org.uk website, then you'll find a link to your picture there, or there's a Scruffy Church TV section there. If you go there, you'll see your picture. Thank you so much. It was a it was a lovely chalet they built at the bottom of their drive, Ros and Olivia, and people who were coming past could see this wonderful Easter scene as they went by. It was a wonderful picture, so thank you very much for that. Also, a big hello to Margaret Jones. Margaret Jones and the Congregation of St. Paul's in Hereford. And finally, and not leastly, a big hello to everyone at St. Stephen's uh, School here in Bath. That's our church school, and you are welcome. Everybody is welcome to Scruffy TV. Now, as you know, there are things you need to get for the, but you don't have to, but if you'd like to, things you need to get, have a look what we need today. So you can stop the video and go and get these things. So what we need today are about four or five pieces of paper, or you can get some big pieces of card. You're gonna make headdresses out of these. So some paper there, some sticky tape. I've got masking tape, that's my favorite. And some scissors, grown up can use those and uh, a pen to write with there. Uh, you'll also need a tea towel, just any ordinary tea towel that's pretty clean. Um, the largest jug you've got in the house, that's uh, intriguing there, I wonder what that's gonna be for. And finally, uh, this is a hat for a king. Now this is uh, quite a fancy one, uh, which I had a while ago, um, but you can get any, you can make a crown, you can get anything you like, it can be a bobble hat, anything you like. So if you go and get those things, that would be absolutely amazing. On Scruffy Church TV, we are going to be shouting, we're going to be singing, we're going to be throwing stuff. Yeah, it's a great, massive Scruffy TV today, but we always start with a wonderful time of quiet. We're gonna come over to this area here and have a prayer together before we start. Look, there's our wonderful Easter candle there, from, remember from last week? And we listen to the sound of the singing for when the singing stops and the silence starts. And that's our prayer. So let's get nice and quiet for a moment. Are you ready? Help us loving God on Scruffy Church TV to have a fantastic time and to find out more about your love for us, which is amazing. And the fact that you are always with us. Amen. 
Now, I don't know about you, but I fancy a bit of a scruffy song. So let's come over to the music area. There's a scruffy TV there. And we're gonna sing the scruffy TV song. If you haven't sung this before, you'll soon get the hang of it. And once you've remembered it, it will never leave you. Here we go. Scruffy, scruffy church, woo! Scruffy, scruffy church, woo! Scruffy, scruffy church, woo! We're all family. What will we do this week? I'm sure it will be fun. With you and me and Jesus. So come on everyone. Two, three, four! Scruffy, scruffy church, woo! Scruffy, scruffy God's family. It's Scruffy Church Television, everybody! Brilliant. Now, we are going to do that amazing story together. So we're gonna come over to the story area, right the way over here. Now, do you remember last week was Easter, and we remembered about the women going to the tomb and the tomb being empty and they were really worried. They were worried, they didn't know where Jesus had gone until Jesus said, I am risen. And they were really, really pleased. But to go down there in the first place, they had to be bold and they had to be strong. And I was thinking about this, being bold and being strong. And it reminds me of a wonderful story in the older part of the Bible where our brothers and sisters in the Jewish faith have as their scriptures, we have that too. Uh, and. It's a wonderful story with loads and loads and loads of people in it. So if there are other people in your house who aren't watching Scruffy Church TV at the moment, you can go and get them and say, please, can you come in and be in the story with us? And if they say, Emilio, thank you very much for the invitation, but actually I prefer to watch a proper church on television. You can say, but Scruffy Church is a proper church. Come on in and be part of the story. So there are loads of parts, but if there are only one or two of you, that's fine. If you're just on your own, that's fine. You can play all the parts yourself because I'm going to play all the parts. So you can join me and play all the parts yourself. But before we start the story, we need to make a couple of things. So have a look here. These are the things we're going to make. So what you'd like you to do is to get two pieces of paper and join them together like that and get some sticky tape. And I've got this masking tape here. You might need some help with this, but do it on your own if you can. And you stick the two pieces together. If you've got pieces of card or bigger pieces of paper, you can use those. I'm just using these two printer pieces of paper and put them together. Now, once you've done that, you get your pen. And I'd like you to draw a line along there like that and up like that and down and along and then if you're old enough to use scissors yourself use these scissors if not get a grown-up to help you and you cut this out now once you've done this you might like to make if there are more of you you might like to make more of them uh, but you or you can make two of them and when you've done it you can decorate them if you like but these are going to be the head dresses for the people in the story so you can make as many of you like to stop stop the film and go and make some more so there we are that's that now what you need to do next is to get a piece of sticky tape first like that and you're going to you can probably get someone to help you do this put it on your head like that and stick it around the back there we are so it's your perfect size there we are that's your headdress and you can put the other bits of paper away it's scruffy church so that's okay now with the other piece of paper get your piece get your sticky tape ready first put that on there now just roll it up like this into a 
into a tube, a tube, and then on with one end we're going to make a trumpet. So with one end, just make it a bit bigger like that. That's it, like that, and then you can stick that on there like that. There we go. Make sure it's nice and firm. And that's our trumpet! Brilliant! So we've got the headdress, we can make more of those, or trumpet, you can make more of those as well if you like. That's what we need to make ready for the story. So, for the rest of the story I'm going to find some things from my prop box. There it is. That's my prop box. So what have I got in here that I can use today? Uh, I'm going to use this tennis ball and this whistle which I'll show you later uh, that smelly sock Pwah! put that there and secret piece of red put that the way down there and that's my prop box ah so we're nearly ready we're nearly ready to begin the story now what you need to do on your floor or on your table if you've got one uh, you need to put things on different sides so the horn goes on that side the jug goes on that side that can go in the middle or if you've got two you can put one on each side the tea towel goes on this side and that's everything done now in order to do this story we need to practice some things in in advance in ahead of doing the story so we, the first thing we're going to do is a war chant and it goes like this Israelites like to fight all right should we try that together Israelites like to fight all right and I know it's really rude to point but we're going to do that for the all right so it's Israelites like to fight all right brilliant the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be a tree falling so remember just the sound of a tree goes should we try that together fantastic the next thing is the sound of a drum and we're going to go like this boom 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 are you ready all together boom 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 and finally we're going to take our trumpet our fantastic trumpet that we've made and we're going to go are you ready go brilliant that's it those are all the things we need to practice because now it's time for the big, gory, glory story. The big, gory, glory story. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there was a tribe of people called the Israelites. Now, the Israelites were on this side, and they had their hat like this. And sometimes, the Israelites would be happy. <laughs> I can do that now. <laughs> happy Israelites. Sometimes they'd be a bit sad. <laughs> sometimes they'd be excited. <laughs> and sometimes they'd fancy a bit of a fight. So they had a war chant and this went like this. Israelites like to fight all right. Let's try that again. Israelites like to fight all right. And these Israelites lived on the side of a big valley. And the king of the Israelites was called King Saul. And King Saul, so if you've got a King Saul, they can put their hat on their king's hat already. And King Saul says this, I am your king. What does he say? I am your king. You are my people. What does he say? You are my people. I'm going to give you all 10 pounds. I'm going to give you all 10 pounds. There you go, everybody. 10 pounds for the king in your house. Fantastic. So the Israelites were over here and they loved doing their war chant, war chant which went like this. Israelites like to fight all right. But one day on the other side of the valley came a Philistine who looked like this. You put it upside down there. And one Philistine came and looked out on the other side of the valley and then two came and then three came and then a whole shed load of Philistines came and the Philistines were big the Philistines were ugly 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 the
Philistines were smelly. And when the Israelites saw the Philistines, they did their war chant. Israelites like to fight, all right. And the Philistines heard the war chant and they said, Ooh, how scary. What did they say? Ooh, how scary. But they did like the idea of a war chant because they didn't have one. So they all got together and they got their best poet and their best musician and they all got together and they had a bit of a huddle and they discussed their war chant. Stop listening. And they talked for two days and at the end, they had their own war chant and it went like this. <coughs> Philistines! Brilliant. Shall we try that together? Are you ready? Philistines! And the Israelites did their war chant. Israelites like to fight, all right. And the Philistines did their war chant. Philistines! Out from the middle of the Philistines came a man who was so tall, he was an absolute giant. And he roared, Let's get your jug ready, he, get, he roared like this. And the Israelites looked down to the bottom of his feet and up. So, so tall. And this man was called Goliath. And he roared again like this. And the drummers drummed. Boom, boom, boom. And the trumpet sounded. Are you ready? And Goliath roared. And the Philistines roared. And the Israelites screamed, ah! and Goliath said, I'm the best fighter in the Philistine army. What did he say? I'm the best fighter in the Philistine army. Send out your best man to come and fight me. All together. Send out your best man to come and fight me. What he meant was, he was going to fight whoever was the best fighter in the Israelites, and whoever won that fight, would win the battle. But the poor Israelites just looked and screamed, ah! Every day for 40 days, the drums would sound, boom, boom, boom. The trumpets would sound, do, 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 do. and Goliath would roar, roar! And the Philistines would war. Roar! And the Israelites would look down at his feet. And they'd scream. Ah! And they'd say, what are we going to do? What did they say? What are we going to do? And the king, King Saul said, what are we going to do? <laughs> we need someone to fight this this giant and then out from the crowd came a small shepherd boy called David and David was really small but although he was small on the outside on the inside he was huge because he had faith in God and he prayed so much and he knew that God was with him and he looked at Goliath's feet and up to his head but he didn't stop there he looked at all the heavens everything that God had made and he looked down on Goliath and when he looked like that Goliath didn't seem quite so big anymore so David said to the Israelites He's just a big bully. What did he say? He's just a big bully. And the Israelites felt so strong 
And David said, God is with us. What did he say? God is with us. And the Israelites did their war chant. Israelites like to fight, all right. And when they heard this, Goliath laughed. <laughs> and the Philistines laughed. <laughs> but David said, don't worry, Israelites. I'm going to be bold. I'm going to be strong because the Lord our God is with us. And Saul, King Saul, gave him a huge helmet to put on and a huge suit of armour and an enormous sword. But David couldn't move. So he put them all down again and he went down to a stream and he picked up a small pebble and he had his own sling. And what he used to do when he was looking after sheep, when there was a wolf or a bear, he used to throw a stone at it to frighten them away. And he put the stone in the sling, like that. And he was all ready to fight. And he went to Goliath and he said, I'm gonna fight ya. And Goliath, looked down on David and went, <laughs> I'm gonna bash ya. What did he say? I'm gonna bash ya. I'm gonna smash ya. I'm gonna smash ya. I'm gonna something else that rhymes with Asher. Something else that rhymes with Asher. And all the Philistines laughed. <laughs> but David just prayed, God, be with me. And he picked up his sling and he started to spin it like this. And he threw the stone at Goliath. Now, you know, on television, when there's something really exciting, you see it in slow motion. The pebble from David's sling went through the air and everybody watched it. The Philistines watched it. And Goliath watched it, and it came towards Goliath, and it hit him on the head. And this is the tree bit. Goliath fell to the earth with a crash. And David, this is the gory bit. David picked up the sword and sliced off Goliath's head. Way and held it up like that. And all the Israelites cheered. Hooray! Well done. Thank you for joining in that story. How fantastic. We don't have to fight giants, but there are still things that can be scary in our lives, things that we feel are a bit too much for us. The other day I was out for a cycle ride on my one exercise with my son. And we went out of Bath for a few miles. When we came back, Bath has got loads of hills around it. We came to this hill and it was an absolute monster of a hill. And my son, he's brilliant, so he just shot up the hill really, really quickly. But it was really hard going. And as I was cycling along up this hill, I felt this, I sort of remembered this song, Be Bold, Be Strong. And I was singing it in, in time to my cycling. I was going, be bold, be strong, be bold, be strong. And halfway up the hill, I was going, be bold, be strong, be bold. And when I nearly got to the top of the hill, I was going, be bold, be strong. And I thought, God is not going to take this hill away from me. But God is with me and God will help me to be bold and to be strong. You might know a song, Be Bold, Be Strong. And if you don't, I'll teach it to you. Come over to the singing area again, and we're going to sing, Be Bold, Be Strong. Here are the words. So the first bit goes like this. So this is the Be Bold, and then you shout this bit. So it goes. Be bold, be bold, be strong, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Let's try that. Be bold, be bold, be strong, be strong, for the Lord your God. One more time, let's try that. 
Be bold, be bold, be strong, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. And the next bit goes like this. I am not afraid. No, no, no. I am not dismayed. Not me, because I'm walking in faith and victory. Come on, walk in faith and victory. For the Lord your God is with you. That's the song. Let's try that all the way through. And don't forget, even if you can't get the tune, remember these bits and shout them really loudly just like the Israelites. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Be bold, be bold, be strong, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be bold, be strong, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. I am not afraid, no, 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 I am not dismayed, not me, because I'm walking in faith and victory. Come on, walk faith and victory for the Lord your God is with you let's try and sing that one last time here we go be bold be bold be strong be bold for the Lord your God is with you be bold be bold be strong be strong for the Lord your God is with you I am not afraid no 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 I am not not me, because I'm walking in faith in victory. Come on, walk in faith and victory. For the Lord, your God, is with you. Brilliant. Well done. On Scruffy TV, we remember Jesus' words. When you pray, said Jesus, go into your room and shut the door. So we're going to go into our prayer room now and I tell you actually I've forgotten to bring something with me so we're going to if you go to a different place I want you to bring your pieces of paper and your trumpet and your pen good job I remember that and let's go into our prayer room together and we put those down like that and we shut the door and you can see my study and I work very hard at getting my study nice and scruffy especially for scruffy church so what we're going to do to start with we're going to take our trumpet like that and I want you to stand up so you might have to just you might have to just bend the side in a bit at the end like that and then we're going to stand it up like that and we're going to imagine that that is our giant. Now I wonder what you're fearful of today. Maybe you're fearful of the virus. That's right. Maybe you're maybe you're just fearful about someone. Or maybe there you're just full of fear for what's happening at the moment. So those are our giant, those are the things that we can be scared of. Now take your other piece of paper, and it's scruffy church, so it doesn't matter if you just rip the piece of paper into smaller bits, and we're gonna write things on these pieces of paper. Now, <clears throat> I've been looking in my Bible, see it's my scruffy Bible held together with tape and I've been looking for all of the things that I know God has promised and I'm going to write them down here. So I've read that God is faithful, God will always be with us. I've read that God is our strength God helps us to be strong I've read that God is our peace that he can help us when we're feeling fearful God helps us 
to be bold and God is with us so what I'd like you to do now with these little pieces of paper I want you to scrunch them up like this like that I could do this on your own or you can share them or you can write more things more things that you know that God promises like that and we're going to look at these are the things that we're frightened of and we're going to put these promises of God into our hands and these promises of God are like the pebbles that David picked up out of the stream and we're going to hold those in our hand thank you God that you give us your promises to be with us when we feel fearful you will help us because you are with us this is the bit I've been looking forward to so you put your giant there you get your stones of God's promise and I, I bet you can um, know what we're going to do now we're going to Ch oh, first time! You probably, you probably can do it again. We're going to chuck it. We're going to knock that giant over. We're going to get rid of fear. And once you've done that, you can get the fear and scrunch that up as well. Fantastic. What I'd like you to do now is, if you're on your own, I'd like you to just cuddle up on a sofa or a chair, nice and comfortably. If we're with other people, maybe you'd all like to cuddle up together. And we're going to look at our candle from last week. Remember that we just we talked about love wins when Jesus rises from the dead love is stronger than everything even death so we're just going to focus on our candle for a moment and as we cuddle up as we get nice and comfortable that's a great place to be because God is with us and when we're praying God wants us to feel that we're close to him and that we're in a really safe place. Thank you, loving God, that we are all part of your family. Thank you for the family of England, for the British Isles, for Europe and all the world, that you care for us all. And at the moment we pray for those working in the health service, so many people, for doctors and nurses, for cleaners, for people who work in offices, for people who drive ambulances, for all the people that we're praying for in the health service. We're praying for people who are producing our food. We pray for farmers, especially at the moment, because things are very strange for them. So we pray for farmers. We pray for people who deliver our food and who serve us in shops and supermarkets. And we pray for our councils who keep our cities and our towns working. We thank you for our government. And we pray that they will be wise as they make decisions for us. And we just remember the people that we want to pray for today, people who are especially needing our prayer. And we want to pray for Andrew, who's our editor normally, who's still in hospital. And we pray for him that he'll be better really soon. And for his children, Josh and Abigail and his wife, Elaine. And we pray for Sophie, who lives on her own in Copenhagen. And we pray for Kim, who's ill as well. We pray for Anne-Marie, who lives in the United States of America. And we pray for her. And we're going to pray today for all the people who work in newspapers and in television and radio, who are still providing us with information. And we're going to pray for a place called Bridgemead here in Bath, which is a care home with lots of older people in it and they're not allowed to see their families at the moment and their families aren't allowed to see them so we pray for them and we'll just have a bit of quiet now and you can pray for people
but you know maybe you'd like to mention them to one another or maybe you'd just like to be quiet and just remember them in your mind or in your heart. Loving God, we pray for all of these people and we pray that you would warm them by your love because you are with us. And we're going to say the prayer that Jesus taught us all together. Here we go. Let's pray this prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. We'll go back and sing our final song now. Now, you remember it was the big, gory, glory story. And the wonderful thing about glory is that when we know that God is with us, the closer God is to us and the closer that we are to God, the more we are like God and the more we show God's glory in the world and I thought there's a wonderful song which is all about that how when we're close to God we get changed into being the brightness of God's glory and the song is just over here and you may know it or you may not and if you don't know it and if you can't get the hang of it what I like to do is dance to it because it's got a really nice tune but if you know it you can sing along as well we're going to start by singing that chorus together before we sing the verses. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pray for me because this song has got nine chords in it and it's a real challenge. So let's sing this Shine, Jesus Shine. Shine, Jesus Shine, fill this land with the Father's glory.
think we'll sing that on other weeks in Scruffy Church TV. Don't forget, you can email us at this address, scruffy at stephensbath.org.uk and you can find out more about Scruffy TV on our website, www.stephensbath.org.uk. It's been fantastic sharing Scruffy Church TV with you today. I hope you have a great day and a really good week. We'll see you next week. Next week, I have to say, it's one of my favourite songs in next week's Scruffy Church TV. But we'll finish as we always do by holding our hands out to the screen. And I'm praying that my warmth will make your hands warm. And you take that warmth, which is the love of God, and you put it here and you feel that love of God for you. God is with us. Loving God, help us to be bold and to be strong in all that we have this coming week. In the name of God, who is our creator, our redeemer, and our abiding and kindly spirit. And together we say, Amen. Have a great week. Have a great week. See you soon.